What's up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book Full Force Season 2 Theory and Prediction, y'all. Come with me along this journey as we discuss Shanti, Jannard, Diamond, a little bit of Tommy, and the rest of CBI as we theorize me calling it out right now that Shanti will be trade Jannard, which may or may not cost him his life, but most likely it won't. But she will be trade Jannard and do the official girl boss link up with Elise and Claudia and the Detroit cartel, which whose name I do not know right now because I just watched the episode. So this is basically like a first reaction off of watching that episode one time. And this is episode nine of Power Book Full Force season two, okay? But the seeds have been planted. The seeds have been planted. Uh, you can obviously see that it's going to happen. First off, first off, you got Shanti who is very ambitious. She wants what's hers. We're going to see Shanti get to a point, most likely next episode, where she sees that Jannard isn't all the way 100 with her and what she wants to do as much as he may lead her to believe. And we're going to see Shanti. She's going to force Jannard's hand. She's going to do something like like probably just directly ask him are you going along with this plan are you 100% for us because she's pretty much done with Diamond she wants Diamond fully out of CBI she wants to run CBI with Jannard Jannard would never have more loyalty to anyone over Diamond Jannard is going to be forced to show Shanti that. And Shanti, first of all, episode nine, when they were in the ring, I thought she was going to snub Jannard. <laughs> when Jannard started with this, yo, man, we could just take Tommy out. We don't got to take my brother out, leave my brother out. I mean, first of all, they didn't decide that they're going to kill him or nothing, but they did say they were going to push him out. And Jannard is like, yo, we ain't got to do that. When she got real aggressive and started, you know what I mean, <laughs> pushing on him and all that, first off, I'm like, okay, she's highly aggressive. She's highly masculine. As fine as she is, as fine as she is, she's totally out of line. But I thought right then and there in the ring, she was going to snub Jannard, mess around and beat Jannard up, right? That's what I thought. Because we've seen her, we've seen her do more to other people for less, right? Even though technically we haven't seen the catch a body yet, I think they're saving that for episode 10, right? But she, I believe that after that scene, as far as her character goes, she's already looking at Jannard kind of shaky at this point. You know, she, she dealt with the lying about being on drugs. She got him back clean so far, right? But I believe he's going to, uh, he's going to relapse. Something's gonna happen. Something dramatic is gonna happen to Jannard. It's gonna cause him relapse. But she dealt with him lying about being on drugs. She dealt with him stealing from her. She's in love with that man. And even up to episode nine, she has been very, very, very honest about all of her plans. Pretty much all of her plans. She's pretty much ran all of her plans through Jannard before she made any decisions. Seeing where Jannard's head is at, right? She's going to force Jannard's hand. And when she sees that Jannard unequivocally chooses Diamond over her, this is where we're going to have her ride with Claudia. And she's going to say, you know what? The hell with Tommy. The hell with Diamond. The hell with Jannard. In the hell with CBI. And we're going to see her leave. She's going to link up with Claudia. She's going to link up with the cartel from Detroit. She might take a couple of her underlings from CBI. But I think it's going to be so crazy that. That 
she really gonna feel away when she tries to leave and it may only be her the only person leaving we have seen the seeds be sold for shanti to completely leave the cbi and become an enemy and threat of the cbi um um the opportunity is very much there for her now that they have the cartel from detroit who they're talking about even though we haven't seen anything they're talking about them like they're untouchable and and they're this big threat you know i mean the guy who represented the cartel whose name slips by me like i said this is my first time watching this episode and i came right to make this video to give to the people right i literally finished watching this episode like 20 minutes ago right but he looks menacing enough you know you know baseball cap cut on the face tattoos and he also seems to um be less of a womanizer than all the other men that Claudia has dealt with. The opportunity is right for Shanti to say, you know what? The only reason why I didn't make this move sooner is because I didn't have nobody backing me. But now they have this cartel from Detroit. Also, another sign that this is definitely going to happen. And I'm saying that she's gonna make this decision by the end of episode 10 for real another reason is is that she don't know what's going on with tommy but all she knows is that tommy said hey guess what on paper you're not cbi anymore right and this is tommy not only wanting to see how claudia is going to move not only wanting to formulate a plan about what's going to go on with claudia and Potentially with the Serbs and the Detroit players. But I believe he's also testing Shanti. That's why later on in the episode, he said to Diamond, Hey, yo, how you feel about Shanti? Because all Diamond has to say is like, yo, she moving wacky. Shanti would be up there two-stepping with Jesus. Like, it, like it's she'll be playing patty cake with Tupac and Heaven's Gates. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Um, But it's coming. It's coming. And here's the thing, right? The writers have been slowly setting up this big girl boss, boss drug dealer team, right? They gonna have the pills. They gonna have, they gonna have cocaine, right? They gonna have the manpower of the Detroit cartel. They've been slowly setting it up We've never really seen a girl boss uh, drug team as far as uh, distros. We never seen it. We never seen two, three women at the helm. We never seen it. We never ever seen it. And I believe that the writers are setting it up to happen. Now, another thing, right? What I haven't seen a lot of people speak about is all of the red that all of these women have been wearing over the course of the season. First, you had Awelita, who's now dead. Then you had Claudia, who was wearing red the day Walter Flynn got killed and she tried to kill Vic. Then, when Shanti got on that gangster stuff in club, what I what I believe the name is Oasis, she had a red dress on. And now you got Elise, who pulls up on Claudia with all this money, right? With all this money, she drops the money off. She has on this red business suit, right? This red women's business suit, as she's dropping off this money and here's the thing right we don't know who elise is when you see women wearing red dresses in cinema they're gonna do some gangster stuff or they're gonna do something foul okay we do not know who elise is all we know is she got some money she knew claudia back in the day but then they spent a lot of time away from each other 
Elise claims she's been in love with Claudia since the seventh grade. We don't know who she is. I believe that she will join the, uh, she will, of course, be a part of the women's conglomerate. She put up the money for it. So she's going to want to pull rank. She's going to want to neutralize Shanti. I believe she wants Claudia to herself. She has sinister intentions. That's part of what we're going to see going into next season. This girl boss thing, right? They're either going to build it up even more in season three and have them become a real huge threat in season four. Because in season three, they already showing us that, you know, there's possibly still going to be some dealing with Miguel there, even though he's probably going to die. Che might be around, but he might die, right? Um, They're showing you that the, the cartel from Detroit is going to be an issue. And they're probably going to be the biggest issue, as well as the Chicago police force, right? They may build up this three-woman team that may end up being a two-woman team. They may end up building it up over the course of season three. And maybe they'll become a problem during the second half of season three. And maybe an even huge problem that everyone was overlooking in season four. Or they could be completely neutralized by the end of season three with Shanti possibly dying. For some reason, I feel like they want Claudia to be around kind of towards the end. Because Vic is definitely going to die now that Tommy knows. Vic's definitely going to die unless they can figure out a way to get Vic and Witsack. But I say, let the rat die, right? But we have seen the seeds that Shanti has all the reason in the world. She has many reasons to just betray Jannard and go ride out with the people in Detroit and Claudia. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is this reach? Let me know what are your thoughts on episode nine. Let me know how you think Shanti is going to move going into the season finale and going into season three. Do you even think she'll make it to season three? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.